Dear students, welcome to the problem solving session part 1 on Laplace transform. In the very first video, we see the basic ideas on Laplace transform, formulae and definitions. In today's session, we are going to solve some simple problems on Laplace transform. First, let us see the linear property. I am taking two functions f of t and g of t and then a and b are constant. Then a Laplace transform of a into f of t plus b into g of t can be rewritten as a times l of f of t plus b times l of g of t. And I can do the same if plus is replaced by minus. This is known as linear property. So using this property, we are going to do some problems. Find l of 1 plus 2t plus e power 3t. Now by linear property, I can split this as l of 1 plus l of 2t plus l of e power 3t. Again, I can rewrite this as l of 1 plus 2 times l of t plus l of e power 3t. Now we know l of 1 is 1 by s plus 2 times l of t. We know l of t power n is going to be n factorial divided by s power n plus 1 when n is an integer. So l of t power 1 is going to be 1 factorial is 1, 1 plus 1 is 2. So 1 by s square plus l of e power 3t, 1 by s minus 3. Because we know l of e power 8 is 1 by s minus a. Next l of 8 into e power 8t sin h3t cos 5t. Just recall the formulas. l of e power 8 is 1 by s minus a. l of sin h8t. Sin means a. Hyperbolic means negative. s square minus s. And then cos means we have positive. s square plus a square. Cos means s in the numerator. Now using linear property, I can write like this. Then I can take 8 outside, 8 into L of e power 8t plus L of sin h3t plus L of cos 5t. So, 8 times e power 8t is going to be 1 by s minus 8 plus sin. Sin means a will come in the numerator. Here a is 3. So, 3 by s square minus 9 plus cos. Cos means we have to write s. s by s square, a is 5 here. So, it is going to be 25. Next, we have to find the Laplace transform of 1 by root t. It's very important. We have two formula for L of t power n. If n is integer, then I will say n factorial divided by s power n plus 1. If n is not integer, I have to write gamma of n plus 1 divided by s power n plus 1. Now, n is not an integer because we have t power minus 1 by 2 or 1 by t power 1 by 2 or 1 by square root of t all are same. Therefore, L of 1 by root t is equal to L of t power minus 1 by 2. Now, it is going to be equal to minus 1 by 2 plus 1. I am substituting the value of n here. S power minus 1 by 2 plus 1. So, we have gamma of 1 by 2 divided by S power 1 by 2. Because 1 minus 1 by 2 is 1 by 2. And we know that gamma of 1 by 2 is root pi. We did this in semester 1. Gamma of 1 by 2 is square root of pi. And S power 1 by 2 is root s. Therefore, my solution is square root of pi by Yes, these are all comes under MCQs. Next question, find L of root t. The same formula we are going to apply. Now we take L of root t is equal to L of t power 1 by 2. So gamma of 1 by 2 plus 1 divided by s power 1 by 2 plus 1. So we get gamma of 3 by 2 divided by s power 3 by 2. We know the result gamma of n plus 1 is equal to n into gamma of n. We can apply till we get the solution. So gamma of 3 by 2 I can write this as 1 by 2 gamma of 1 by 2. Or you can remember the other formula. Both are same. Gamma of n is n minus 1 into gamma of n minus 1. Now if you substitute n equal to 3 by 2, 3 by 2 minus 1 is 1 by 2. And here also 3 by 2 minus 1 is 1 by 2. 
and we know gamma of 1 by 2 is root pi so root pi by 2 now root pi divided by 2 s power 3 by 2 can be written as s into square root of s that's it next l of a power t this is not given in the basic formula how to solve this so since we know only few formulas we have to bring the problem into the formula which we have so we know that e power log anything is going to be that anything because e power and log will get cancelled this is the idea we are going to use so l of a power t i am going to write in the format l of e power log a power t and we know the formula log a power b is equal to b log a therefore this can be rewritten as l of t into log a so now this log a is considered to be a constant it's look like L of e power a t. L of e power a t is one by s minus a. So I can rewrite this as L of log a into t. So my answer is going to be one by s minus log a. Then students, you can see the type division. So these problems are eligible for MCQ types. Next, using some trigonometric identities, we can solve. laplace transform do you remember cos 2 theta can be written as 2 cos square theta minus 1 or 1 minus 2 sin square theta or cos square theta minus sin square theta now rearranging the terms we get cos square theta is equal to 1 by 2 1 plus cos 2 theta this is what i am writing here but i am writing in terms of t the reason is the formula we are going to use or the problem in laplace transform we are using in terms of t now you can easily guess what is sin square t 1 by 2 1 minus cos 2t next we have to write the formula for cos cube t cos cube t is very easy to remember cos cube theta is 1 by 4 3 cos theta plus cos 3 theta you can remember like 3c plus c3 then sin cube theta is 1 by 4 3s minus s3 so cos is positive sin is negative that's it 3c plus c3 3s minus s3 next the school identity is what we learn cos a plus b sin a plus b sin a plus b is sin a cos b plus cos a sin b cos a plus b is cos a cos b minus sin a sin b now they will ask the problem in terms of sin a cos b now we have to write the other formula that is sin a minus b is sin a cos b minus cos a sin b now we have to add this together we get sin a cos b is 1 by 2 sin a plus b plus sin a minus b in the similar way cos a minus b is going to be cos a cos b plus sin a sin b now in this four formula we get three different formulas sin a cos b sin a sin b cos a cos b we can see one by one sin a cos b is 1 by 2 sin a plus b plus sin a minus b cos a cos b is 1 by 2 cos a plus b plus cos a minus b remember student if you have sin a cos b the answer is going to be in terms of sin cos a cos b answer is in terms of cos sin a sin b answer is in terms of cos for the different combination answer is sin same combination like cos a cos b or sin a sin b we are going to represent the answer in terms of cos now using this formulas or trigonometric identities we can solve some laplace transform problems so in exams if you are getting find l of sin square 3t just you have to write we know the formula sin square theta is equal to 1 by 2 1 minus cos 2 theta in the question it is given as sin square 3t instead of t we have 3t so 1 by 2 1 minus cos 2 into 3t therefore l of sin square 3t is 1 by 2 l of 1 minus cos 6t now applying linear property we can rewrite this as 1 by 2 l of 1 minus l of cos 6t since 1 by 2 is constant i am taking out now we know that l of 1 is 1 by s because l of any constant c is c by s and then l of cos 8t is going to be 
s by s square plus a square. Therefore, 1 by 2, L of 1 is 1 by s minus L of cos 60 is s by s square plus 6 square that is 36. This is the final answer. Next, we do one more problem in this kind. L of cos square 2t. So, we know the formula cos square t is 1 by 2, 1 plus cos 2t. So, cos square 2t is going to be 1 by 2, 1 plus cos. For t, we have 2t. Here, we have 2t. So, 2 into 2, 4. We get cos 4t. Now, apply Laplace transform on both sides. L of cos square 2t is equal to L of 1 by 2, 1 plus cos 4t. Now, using the linear property, we can take this 2 in common. We write L of 1 plus L of cos 4t. Just now, we see the formulas. So, 1 by 2, L of 1 is 1 by S. L of cos 4t is S by S square plus 4 square. That is 16. We can stop here. Next question. Sin cube 2t. So, I said sin cube theta is equal to 3s minus s3. 3 sin t minus sin 3t. Now, sin cube 2t. So, 1 by 4, 3 sin 2t minus sin. Already 3 is there. 3 into 2, 6. So, I can write it as sin 6 t. Now, taking Laplace on both sides, using linear property, I can take this 3 outside. I can write 3 into L of sin 2t minus L of sin 6t. Applying the formula, we get 1 by 4, 3 into 2 because L of sin 8t is a by s square plus a square divided by s square plus 4 minus 6 divided by s square plus 36. Finally, we can write this as 6 by 4, 1 by s square plus 4, minus 1 by s square plus 36. In the similar way, one can solve cos cube 3t also. Because we know the formula L of cos cube theta is 1 by 4, 3c plus c3. So, cos cube 3t means 3 into cos 3t, 3 into 3, 9. So, cos 90. Now, applying Laplace transform, we get 3s, 3 is constant, cos 3t, when I apply Laplace, we get 3s by s square plus 9. Here, cos 9t, we get s by s square plus 9 square, that is 81. Next, L of sin h square t. We know that sin h a t is equal to e power a t minus e power minus a t by 2. We have sin h t. Sin h t is simply e power t minus e power minus t divided by 2. Now, sin square ht is going to be e power t minus e power minus t by 2 whole square. Expanding this, we get 1 by 4 e power 2t because e power t into e power t can be written as e power t whole square or e power 2t. All are same. e power 2t plus e power minus 2t a square plus b square minus 2ab. That is minus 2 e power t into e power minus t. Now, e power t into e power minus t is e power 0, that is 1. So, we have e power 2t plus e power minus 2t minus 2. Applying Laplace on both sides, we get 1 by 4, L of e power 2t, L of e power minus 2t minus 2 times L of 1. The answer is 1 by 4, L of e power 2t, 1 by s minus 2, plus L of e power minus 2t, 1 by s plus 2. Two minus 2 times L of 1 is 1 by S. Yes. That's it, students. Next, we see some problems where we have sin cos combinations. By seeing the problem directly, we have to remember sin A cos B means 1 by 2 sin A plus B plus sin A minus B. So, here sin 3t cos 2t. So, 1 by 2, 3 plus 2, 5. Sin 5t, 3 minus 2, 1. Sin t. So, that is what we have already written here. Now, applying the linear property, we get 1 by 2, L of sin 5t plus L of sin t. Next, cos 4t, cos 2t. So, Cos A, cos B, the trick is always keep the highest value first and lowest value next. 
to avoid plus minus confusions because C A C B is going to be one by two C A plus B plus C A minus B. Even you can take the question as it is. Some students will forget in the exam that is cos of minus theta is simply cos theta and sine of minus theta is minus sine theta. So whenever we have get the combination. Keep the biggest one first. So cos 4t, cos 2t. So when you write this as 1 by 2, cos 4 plus 2. So we can write this as cos 6t. Next one 4 minus 2, 2. So cos 2t. Now applying Laplace transform on both sides and simplifying this, we get L of cos 6t is s by s square plus 6 square. Then L of cos 2t is s by s square plus 2 square. Therefore, the answer is 1 by 2 s by s square plus 36 plus s by s square plus 4. Next problem: sine 3t sine 4t. As I said, I can rewrite this as sine 4t. Sin 3t. Now applying formula is going to be very easy. 1 by 2 we have cos a minus b minus cos a plus b. Therefore the answer is going to be 1 by 2. Here a is 4, b is 3. So cos 4 minus 3 is 1. Simply cos of t minus cos 4 plus 3 is 7. Therefore the answer is going to be cos t minus cos 70. Applying Laplace transform and writing the answer as s by s square plus one square that is one minus s by s square plus seven square that is forty nine. Hope you understand, students. So in this session, we solved simple problems using trigonometric identities and linear property. Thanks for watching. Hope you found this video helpful. Subscribe to our channel and share it to your friends. See you in the next video. Bye bye.